Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 39 of Let's Play EU4 as a historic Great Britain. Stephen Colbert is back! Thankfully he never left, even though he lost control of the Pope. Papacy. Succoring Cambrai, we're building a weapons manufactory. We're involved in a war that doesn't really matter. They're totally fine. Denmark's huge compared to them. And I'm still fiddling around with all this diplomacy type stuff. Um... We're trying to vassalize this guy, so to do that, I think I'm going to send them a gift. It's very cheap to do that. And we just need another plus 40. So, shouldn't be too hard to do. I'll just need to... I was looking at it before, so Burgundy, Burgundy, Baden, and Brabant. I have a truce with Burgundy. But Baden I don't have any issue with, so why can't I choose Baden? There we go. Okay, now it worked. Okay, so you should like me a lot, and offer vassalization, sent. So that's actually perfect. I get it now, I get it. So, Burgundy held them, I forced them to be released, which they liked, and then... I was able to quickly turn them into a vassal. So I very I very peacefully put them as my subservient little manslave. Take, become papal controller. Grand fleet, take Girona. Girona, isn't that the claim I got down here? Do I still have a truce with you? I've already excommunicated her. <laughs> uh, truce? No. Wow. Very little... Uh, oh, that's really good. So, the Conquest CB still has pretty, pretty substantial amount of aggressive expansion, and no prestige, and full cost. The fact that I excommunicated him is really nice. Enforced vassalage. Okay, sounds good. Um, I'm gonna take that mission. Take Girona. So we need to try to get Girona. We have a claim on it, so it'll be less expensive, and we're going to go ahead and actually bump up the maintenance for our own little personal war. Bring down the big huge thing of guns. Actually, I'll just bring them all down. And we're only attacking Spain, so Spain's pretty weak. And they're already in a war. So we'll declare war on them, and we're going to take Girona as the Casus Belli. And we will call... Sure. We'll call willing allies, why not? Hmm. It's coming into my land. Stephen Colbert's back. Let's get these fleets down here, though. These are mountains, so I feel pretty good about hanging out in the mountains. He's coming at me. Um, we've got a, oh, not so good mix, but we're, it's basically guaranteed to be, not guaranteed, but very likely to be a good defensive advantage. Um, it'd be nice if they had a commander, though, because this guy's got a commander. So how about we do this? We'll put a leader in charge here. Um, we're going to teleport Richard York up here. And then send him here. And then I'm going to get rid of this guy here and put him here. And again, that ratio is off. Do I just have too many of those darn things? I feel like I need, uh... We broke our alliance with Haynut. Haynut. Well, it's because I vassalized him. And my inventory I need more infantry. And our force limit. We have we have more room for force limits. Let's let's train up some infantry. Just so that we have no problems with these silly ratios. Uh, we'll train a bunch of them. Alright, where are you going? Into Girona. 
huge supply limits now. Like, we can throw some massive armies around. Let's force march our way in to prevent him from getting away. That is deadly. Do we kill it? Kill it with fire. Aragon is retreating to Barcelona. Nope, soon as shattered, retreat to Valencia. And we received him. Lovely. Got all these cannons up there. Some of our infantry's coming in. How about all this all of the new infantry I want to just head to say there. Castile declared war on Aragon. <laughs> Castile has come out as like this like new power I've just created. I love it. It's awesome. That's really funny. I'll turn off Force March. A little bit more conversions happening. I like it. Things go well. So do we want to like completely smack Spain upside the head a bit again? Actually, we're hostile with uh Oh, they've got a new army. Okay. Well, let's detach a siege and force march our way and just catch them. We will arrive on the 5th and they're heading to Navarra. So we'll just march through and catch them. They can't they cannot escape. We're just so freaking fast. I love Forced March. It's got to be, like, the most useful thing you could possibly get. I'm doing a retreat to Cadiz. It's really far away. We'll go down there and meet him. In fact, I think I'm going to march my way down there. I don't really care about the points. I just want to beat him. God, it's so brutal. And then they come right to us. Crossing rivers and everything. I comment on it almost every time I do it, but I just, I love it. It makes me so happy. Doesn't it make you happy? God, it's glorious. How do you like me now? I, I, I you know, we're winning so much now that I feel it's, it's necessary for me to point out that we are playing on hard. Like, I'm not playing on, like, some easy mode garbage. Like, we're, we're kind of kicking butt now, you know? Just trying to figure the game out a little bit. A little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, no one's sieging here. Why are you guys just hanging out? Feels like they should... Be doing something. A little bit of inflation. Oh yeah, we can handle it. Let's do it. Hey, there's your fleet, Aragon. Okay, 11 big ships and 22 transports versus one big ship. Yeah, we can take them. Pretty confident about that. Ooh, Austria has the Peasants War. Nice. That is awesome. They are screwed, screwed, screwed. How did these guys sneak their way past us? I do not know. Girona has fallen. Which is good because I'm going to need to end this war soon I think there's the battle okay. I 
think we're gonna do all right. I don't think I even have capped out fleet maintenance in either way. We just have bigger, more, more guns by far. War is kind of messy. Uh, in this a theologian, 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 no. Administrative tech cost, yearly prestige. I guess this one. Theologian. Give me a theologian. Like, what do I really want out of this war? I can't get a separate piece with Aragon. I should have broken that personal union. I want you to give me Girona. Look at that. Only 3.7 aggressive expansion. That's awesome. Ooh, and even this. Look how low the aggressive expansion is. So we can take those two. I really, what I really want though is Barcelona. Because Barcelona is that trade center. I want these two. This one's an estuary, and this one is a important center of trade. And who sieged this? Me. We can ask for Valencia, yes? Why can't I ask for Valencia? Oh, it's, it's owned by uh, Aragon, that's why. Can I negotiate with Aragon? One of our vessels has been lost! Did I leave a like really damaged ship out in the middle of the sea? Probably. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Get within our trade range, our, our actual ship range. Ooh, with the help of an easily bribed man and the general staff of our enemy, we have secretly laid open the war plans and placement of enemy troops. Our spies have yet again proved their worth. Three months of fog raised for Spain. Now, Spain has to have expanded. Come on. Don't you have the national idea? Exploration. Come on. Show me your stuff. Show me your expansions. We just lost another fleet. Hmm. Alliance partner dismissed. Hmm? I didn't break an alliance, did I? How's that work? I don't know what how, what just happened. Nope. <laughs> now I'm not going to do it. I don't know why. I just It's weird. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Take take the stuff that I want. Take Barcelona. Send send forth the cannons. Taking Granada. Alantejo. Alantejo. Come on, Granada. Barcelona. Tick. Go. The conversion. Sweden has accepted peace. There's Barcelona. Barcelona, unfortunately, is owned by Aragon, so it doesn't even matter. No, it is. Okay. But for some... Oh, is it because Valencia is the capital of Aragon, probably? I bet it is. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Well, I want Barcelona. Because it's an important center of trade. It's worth a ton. Is it because it's 
Aragon that it's so darn expensive. I know the diplomatic power is reduced because I've got the other one as a rival. Why is it worth so much darn war score? Or so much... yeah. 60%, man. Is it because of the income or something? Thir okay, 13. That would explain it. Compared to these, which are just 4 and 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 13 is 5 more than that. So that's 5 eighths, which is 62.5% more. So you would expect then that if these two are 30... 2% war score. 32 plus 60. Yeah, I bet it. It probably is close. Be really interesting to find out how that number is actually calculated. Not in war goal cost. 50. 9. Okay, um, but it's it's so important, though. <laughs> Alright, no, 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 we're going to take the Girona, because that was the war goal of the mission. We'll take this one, because it's just close. And it's very little stuff. Actually, we won't even. I'm not even going to do that. I don't even want to spend diplomatic points. I just want your money, and I want you to transfer trade power, because I love it. I just like that. I also want you to release Granada. No, Granada is a Muslim. No, they're not. Granada's not that, are they? I don't think it is. It doesn't have to be, at least. Darn it, the thing got reset. Okay, click, 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 click. And transfer trade power. And revoke your cores on your colonies that I don't know about. Because <laughs> I can make you recore them. That sounds good. So we get trade power, they seed some stuff, and that's fine. Claim our rival's province. Aragon. Okay. Our rival Spain. Yeah, we could we could work on claiming that, that's fine. Uh we'll keep on picking on them, sure. All we have to do is claim it. Don't actually have to fight them. Okay, um, not the trade ships, but everyone else. Come home. You guys can all go to here, and you guys go there. You guys can all go up to there, and you guys go up to there. And I think we're good. Good, good, good. A little bit of revolt risk up here. This one, I really should... It's only 20... F That's actually really low. Let's do it. As far as relationships go, we are still over. What I should do is try to claim... claim his throne. And that'll save a relationship for me to use on somebody else that's more important. Stephen Colbert! Need to core these. Get rid of our overextension, and then, uh, and then we're good. I mean, um, the only war we're in now is the one against with with Denmark that doesn't matter. Um, I mean, he should be winning. He is. So let's lower expenses a bit. Somewhere around there. And just in case, let's make a farm estate. I'm trying to boost the amount of 
money produced here. Local money. Cornwall makes 0.39 per month. And that's the grain one where I've got the... Actually, it's, it's here. It's because I've made that thing plus 100%. Isn't there, like, another building, maybe, that boosts production? Yeah. That's what I need to start doing. I need to make more of that stuff. Okay. That's actually a really... 20% for only 50 gold. 70... 76 gold. Wow. I want it. Okay, I'm going to take a break. I will see you again in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. See you soon.